Hey y'all, how you doing today? I'm Eve with the Baby's Booty, and we coming to you tonight with uh, a hoodie. So that's what we gonna do tonight. And I'm looking forward to it. The design that we're gonna use is by Excellent Dreams over on Etsy. And as soon as I can get the right link, I'm gonna put it in the description below. But let me see if I can't pull up the design that we're going to use. So give me one moment. Let me grab this here because you know it's got to be on the whole other page. So tonight we're going to bling a little bit. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to showing you guys uh, the differences between our browns and our rhinestones. Because I get a lot of questions about that. Like, what's the difference between this brown and that brown? Well, we gonna solve that mystery tonight for you. We also are going to go over our goals and let you guys see what these goals look like as well. So we just gonna have ourselves a grand old time. I just want you to know that. So let me go ahead and slap this screen up for you guys and let you see we are going to work on this totally cute design by excellent dreams it's the love hands and we have the l the o the v and the a i just love it i love this design i've had it for a long time and been wanting to bling it so that's what we're going to do and then it has a black outline that is around the design and this design outline is in vinyl so we're going to use, since we're doing it on a black hoodie, we're not going to outline it in black. <laughs> we're going to outline it in my favorite color. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing with that tonight. Now, also, let me show you, we already got things laid out already. Just waiting for y'all to see what we got going on. Let's see. Where is my, there, nope, wrong camera. Let's get the rack camera. Oh, that was the rack camera. My bad. There we go. So we got our flock laid out. We got our hoodie laid out. We got our glitter vinyl laid out. And it's just waiting on us to head right on over there and go ahead and get that stuff squared away so we can have some fun with it. All right. So what we're going to do is go ahead and say howdy do to the folks that's in the chat to come join us tonight. And uh, if you're wondering about my new get up, my get up is in celebration of a new video I got coming out that's just gonna be real cute. Y'all gonna be like, oh my goodness, slap my chaps and butter me up like a biscuit. And you're gonna absolutely love it because we're combining our love of embroidery with our love of rhinestones. And it's actually gonna end up being something like a two to three part video. Oh my gosh, because it was taking a whole heck of a lot longer than your girl expected it to. So that's going to be coming up within the next week. Uh, we've already recorded the first part and we just got to finish the rest of it up. So I'm looking forward to showing you guys all about that. So let's get on up in this chat and say, hey to Miss JB. Hey, Miss JB, how you doing tonight? Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We appreciate you. We sure do. All right. So crafty. Hey, honey. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. And we also got Mickey with Marilyn. Always a pleasure. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member as well, ma'am. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Regina Cartwright's in the house and Marianne is in the house as well. Gina Goins also is hanging out with us tonight. But we also have Viola Floyd, who's a YouTube Hoop Group member. Um, Andrea Ross is a YouTube Hoop Group, Hoop Group member. We appreciate the both of you. Get on, look, little doggy. Got to get these words right. 2011 Miss Max. Hey, honey. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Creations by Kay Aisha. Hey, honey bunny, welcome. I hope things are going well for you and the baby up there in North Carolina. She's our neighbor, y'all, and we appreciate her. So welcome, my dear, and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Benita Neely, hello, honey. Welcome. Leela Nelson, welcome to you as well. And for being a YouTube Hoop Group member, we want to say thank you. Danny Doerr, hello, honey bunny. Welcome. Beverly Smith is also a YouTube Hoop Group member. Thank you so very much for your support of our humble little channel. Candace Lewis, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Time you. What's up, honey bunny? Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. 
that sings real well. Y'all need to know that about her. She sings real well. Pamela Bradley White, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Sharon Davenport, always a pleasure from deep Northeast Texas. You my kind of people. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Charmaine, welcome, honey bunny. Appreciate you being here with us. Diana Henderson, hello. Welcome. Anita Omer. Thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member as well. Precious Pieces. Hey, honey bunny. Welcome. Enjoy spending time with you when you were down here in our neck of the woods. Sandra Lewis, Crafty Sassy Queen. Hey, honey. Welcome. Miss Nene T-shirts and Bling Designs. Welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member as well. Uh, Calatrish B, Nina Clark. Hello. Welcome to the both of you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Coretta Dangerfield. Hey, honey. You hung out with me too. I appreciate you, fam. And thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. Viola Floyd, thank you. And for those who said they appreciate and like the, like the cowboy hat, I appreciate it. Y'all look, I'm going to try to bling it out. I'm trying to remember what side it was I started on. I'm going to bling this band out up here. I'm so excited. That's going to be part four to what we got coming up down the line. I'm so excited. Crafty Puerto Rican. Hey, honey, how are you? Sherelle Green, also in the house. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Miss 143 says, love the hat and every sweet somebody. Welcome. Thank you for joining us and for being a YouTube Who Group member. <laughs> Mary Brown, welcome. And thank you for being a YouTube Who Group member as well. T Create, welcome. Hi, Shane Cushionberry. Welcome. You old there, Tejas, too. We appreciate you, ma'am. DTC Queen, hello. Patricia Johnson, hello. Ray Neen, hey. Haynes. I hope I said that correctly. From Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Welcome. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you being here. Ingrid. Hey, boo, we country today. Yes, ma'am. We's country. Going back to our roots. Our roots. Yes, we is. Lena Doyle Crafting. Hello, honey. Welcome. Thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member. We always appreciate you. Bonita Clark. I like his designs too, ma'am. Whole heck of a lot. Baby Giant Services LLC. Hello. Welcome. And thank you very much for being in here with us. And Craftable Things, my love. Welcome. I got to eat crow with you, girl. My feelings was real hurt when I checked my downloads folder and that download wasn't there. Ha! I said I told Patrice I downloaded it and I did. But it's gone. I don't know where it's at. I told her I'm going to have to eat humble pie. And I ain't looking forward to it because it made me feel bad. But at any rate, I'll get up with you about that later. <laughs> Barbara Bonaparte, hello honey welcome, thank you for joining us this evening and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member and T. Johnson is as well along with Patrice Williams thank you both for being YouTube Hoop Group members and one virtuous woman and one diligent watchman, welcome thank you for joining us this evening EJ's daughter, hello, welcome and thank you for being a YouTube Hoop Group member Andrea T, she went full country is your back hurting? No, my back ain't hurting tonight thank goodness, we feeling real good over here tonight Laura E., hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Inspiration Creations from Canada. She said, lots of turkey and mashed potatoes eating. Don't eat too many taters, girl, because it'll sit right around that waist, and it'll make you feel real portly. We don't want you to be portly, all right? Tracy Murray, hey, honey bunny, welcome. Thank you for joining us this evening. Sharon Davenport asks us, what color stone is the closest to burgundy? You know what? We're going to solve that mystery tonight, too. I think we just might do that. Chris Mill Calabo, hello, welcome. Barbara Bonaparte, thank you for giving us a super chat. We really appreciate it. Howdy do, howdy! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, honey. Thank you. We really appreciate that support of our channel. All right, I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I hate to do that because I know I'd be skipping over some folks that really need for me to say hey to them because I just love them so much. I love all of you for coming in here and hanging out with us. But let's go ahead and get on over here to this table so that we can get our project on and started because it's going to take us a while to get through all these here colors you guys keep asking about. All right, so first thing we're going to do is move this here hoodie off to the side along with my presentation board that helps keep my hoodies nice and cool and keeps from tearing up my table, messing with it. And I already started to peel this block just to be sure that it was going to peel like it was supposed to. And I was like, you know what? Let me save this and peel this with my good friends on the camera. So we're going to peel this now. I already cut it out because y'all know it takes a good while for us to get some of these darn templates here cut. So we're going to peel this right on off. And like I said, this here template comes from Excellent Dreams off of Etsy. I don't right now have the link 
in there not the link that i want it but at this point i don't care i want y'all to have a link and wow y'all yeah doggy we only had one that did not stay behind and that that's that that there is kind of up to and we got two that there is kind of rare usually we have about 10 but it's all right we don't mind the two all right so we're going to go ahead and fold this over and put this here in the trash so that it's out of our way. And here is our rhinestone flop. Now let's go ahead and get us a cutting mat. Put this here on so that we don't have to worry about it. And y'all, why Dollar Tree done changed up mats on me? I guess the packaging, they, they done come up with different packaging. Look what, these, look, look what they done done to me, y'all. It's a little bit different. Look about the same, same size. So don't worry about it, but... Here's our cutting mats that you get from Dollar and a Quarter Tree now. And we're going to go ahead and cut this here open so that we can have a nice smooth surface to bling on. And as I said earlier, we're going to actually bling this in our mini shades of brown. And the reason why we're going to do that is because, I mean, we all kind of shades of brown in here in this chat ain't we so if you like being a nice shade of brown or we even have us some champagne in here put us a purple heart in the chat if you're looking forward to seeing all these pretty colors brushed into this template tonight all right now this one is kind of big and floppy so give me a minute so we can make sure this thing is gonna sit on our template the way we're supposed to be now that's the other thing about excellent dreams that i do like about his templates his templates are all pretty big, you know, usually. It's a, it's a real nice size, and it fills up the whole front of the shirt. Make you feel real good with all that bling on your shirt. All right. So, one of the things that we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to do our vinyl part on our shirt first. All right. The reason why we got to do the vinyl part first is because the vinyl part is the biggest part, all right? This is the largest part that's going to go on the shirt. And we want to make sure that's good and centered when we put this on the shirt. So that means we're going to have to weed this. So I'm going to slide this off to the side while we get the weeding. Now, y'all know the weeding is not my favorite part of doing vinyl. But we're going to get through this tonight because it's going to be real pretty. And I think y'all going to like this a whole heck of a lot. Yes, sir. It did cut through like it was supposed to. Prince did his job up there. And what I like to do when I know I have to weed, just to be sure I don't weed out the wrong stuff, I start with the outside. And I'll show you what I mean here in a moment. Let's set that off to the side. All right, so... That's the first. That's the outside. So now I can see that here's the inside here. Here's an inside here. All righty. We're going to grab this inside right here. That looks like that cut out too. I don't know why. That must be, yep, that was part of it. My bad. Snatch this right on up out of here. Here's another part. Snatch that out of here. Let's see. Tilly is already on, y'all. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, I tell you, because y'all know I'm forever forgetting. Forever forgetting. Turn Tilly on. Tilly is already on and ready to roll. Alrighty. Let's grab this right here. And grab this one right here. This thing is peeling like butter, y'all. Absolutely love glitter vinyl. It's real pretty. Teresa, I hope you had a good time at your your that there expo. Hope everything went well today. I was praying for you. Quell some of that butterfly feeling in the tummy Whoops. 
All right. right. We're getting somewhere. You can actually see hands and fingers, can't you? Let's see. Got a couple more pieces to go, and then we can line this up on our shirt. I swear, you get older, it's harder to see these here cut lines. There we go. All right. That looks good. That looks good. Now, you might be asking yourself, you might be saying, self, now why is that completely backwards when she done cut up? She done messed up. No, no, I didn't mess up. So what you got to understand right here is with rhinestones, you ain't got to mirror anything. So that doesn't have to mirror. But this here is glitter vinyl heat transfer vinyl so when we press this on it's gonna be pressed on this way and once we press it on look, look look at there look at how good that fits right in there so that our rhinestones and everything is gonna line up just just right okay can the vinyl you peeling off be used for other projects no it is not useless at all miss chris smith so Although I did go ahead and stick that there in the trash can. You can use this again. You really can. Um, I've used it for scrap projects, little itty bitty things. Like you could cut out hearts and all kind of stuff and just lay it on the cutting mat just like it is and cut the stuff out. Now, downside to that is you don't have a carrier sheet. So you may just have to place your pieces on whatever it is you heat pressing it on by itself or once we're done pressing this you can kind of sort of like try and fit it back on this sheet okay and then use it and cut it out like that and we'll try it we'll try it. we're gonna try some everything tonight y'all that's pretty much the name of this here game so i did not pre-press my hoodie knowing full well that i should have and didn't so let me go ahead and pre-press this over here off camera, I apologize. I'm going to press it off camera now. The other thing about me pressing this hoodie, although I'm an extra large, I'm going to press this across my pocket. And I don't like doing that because I don't like the square that it leaves behind. That's why I like the little small heat press from time to time. But I don't have it in here, so we're going to have to go with what we got. All right, so I'm going to have these crease lines that I don't like, y'all. Let's loosen this up. I forgot this is thicker than a snicker in my ice cream. All right. So we pre-pressing for about 12 seconds. Let me go ahead and get my cooling off cardboard right here on this here table so that we can line stuff up and not let it tear up my table. We're going to take care of that here in a little bit. And we're going to grab this and we're going to lay it down. All right, so we pre-pressed, and as you see, it left a little, well, no, you don't see, left a little crease right there across the pocket. It ain't too terribly bad, just a little bit of a pet peeve, all right? And so now let's go ahead and lay this down. It's going to be real pretty, y'all. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, so another tip I like to give people. When you're dealing with an oversized uh, design, let's switch this over. Let's see. We're going to go right there. Okay. So when you're dealing with an oversized design, a lot of times you might want to tend to try and figure out how to straighten it out, how to center it. What I like to do is tell people, go with your pocket. Okay. Because that's what people are going to look at first. When they see your design, they're going to see your pocket. And although you might be centered from arm side to arm side on your ruler or whatever you might want to use, your, your template or whatever you're using to line up your stuff, your, your thing go around your neck, all that jazz. But if that pocket is crooked or off center because it was stitched that way, then your whole thing is going to look off. I hate to tell you, hate to break that news to you. So what I generally do is just use this here pocket, especially when it's that close to it, 
and you're going to see it. It's going to touch it. So use that pocket to straighten this up. Now, if it's up higher, then you ain't got to worry about that pocket as much because it's a little bit further away and it, it draws away the eye. And you don't have to worry about that because your design is up here. But this is so far down. Line it up with your pocket, even if the pocket's crooked, okay? So there we go. We got that there. We're going to go ahead. Let's get uh, Tealy borrowed in now that I've pre-pressed. And let's put this on our heat press. Man, this is going a whole heck of a lot smoother now that I done done this ahead of time. Somebody remind me to do stuff ahead of time next time. Every time. Knowing full well I ain't going to do it. All right. So, here is our glitter vinyl layer. You got to do that first. Why? A couple of reasons. The main reason is it's the bigger part. So, you want to line everything up with the bigger part first. The second reason is this is flat. Your rhinestones have some height to them. So you don't want to struggle to get your vinyl pressed when you got rhinestones holding the heat press up off the surface of your shirt. Do the flat part, flat part, flat part first, please. All righty, so let's go ahead and get that on there. I'm going to go ahead and do that at the same temperature and time as I do my rhinestones. 350 for 12 seconds. All right. Boom. I'm done. Just that quick. Let's pull this out and let y'all see this come off right here. Look at that. Ooh, doggy, that's pretty. Look at that right there. I ain't it pretty, y'all. I'm so excited. So excited. All right. So what we're going to do is leave this right here and come back over to the table because we got a whole heck of a lot of work to do over here on this table long before we get back to filling the stones in on that template. All right, so we're going to leave Tilly over there. Now, to answer your question, Chris Smith, look, let's see. Let's see how this is going to work. Can we stick this back on there? I'm sure we can. So you probably can because it is still ticky. Still ticky. Still. <laughs> no, I did not drink anything today. It's still tacky. Still sticky. So you could do that. Stick it right back on, and then you can use it as your carrier sheet again for anything you might want to work with. All right. Look at there. That looks real good. And then you can trim whatever you want to or put it on however you want to. Oh, went crooked. But yes, looks like we can, ma'am. Looks like we can. So that we ain't wasting our material. We don't like waste. All right. Sweet. So we're going to move this out of the way. Sit our cooling board off to the side. And let's get to blinging. All right. So what we're doing tonight, first off, is we are going to look at our brown. SpongeBob is definitely still intact. Still pretty much full, too. I ain't, I ain't played with SpongeBob too much. All right, so the colors that I chose to do with this here template is we're going to do some smoke topaz for the dark brown skin. All right, so this is our SS10 smoke topaz. Then we're going to do this here coffee. I like to think I'm a coffee shade, but Mr. McQuackens disagrees. And then we're going to do this here light topaz that he seems to think fits me just right. And I considered doing topaz, but topaz has more of a gold tone to it to me. Not necessarily a skin tone. This here's topaz. All right. But I think I'm going to do champagne because we're going we to include all the skin tones over here. So we're going to add in some champagne. That's the plan. That's what we fence to go with. All right. So let's pour this here out. And I'm going to do all of the colors on this one template, but we're going to work with them one at a time. And I'm going to be real careful so I don't have to use no painter's tape and worry about that. But just in case I do get them over there in that there hole, I got me a bling pen waiting right here off to the side so that we can pick them out pretty easy. Worst case scenario, something else you might want to keep is use some tweezers. 
all right? Because tweezers help you flip stones and get them in there and not have to take too terribly long to get your stuff done, all right? I already got one, one rogue stone over there trying to go and join the other skin tone. So we're going to have to get him right on up out of there. All right. So, light pressure, nothing too hard. It don't take all that. Just be gentle and brush them stones right on in. Cool thing is, hoodie, you bling it just as easy as you do a t-shirt. So, we ain't going to struggle too much tonight, which is a good thing because I don't feel like struggling. All right. I'm going to run out of stones. So, let me pour some more on there. The more stones you have on there, you don't want too terribly many, but you do want you a good bit so that they can rub against each other because when a, one stone is flipped upside down, the other stone is flipped right side up and you brush it, it'll brush right on up under there and tip that thing right on over. So it's filled with a lot of science that you probably didn't even realize you was doing science when you was blinging the shirt. Yes, you was. All right. I think this is this here is gonna turn out real cute. I'm excited. All right, so I'm gonna try and brush right back over, see if we can't get some more folks to get in their hole like they're supposed to be, and brush the extra right on off the side. Okay, because I don't want to brush it off to the right and then it get into the other. We already got three over there that shouldn't be. All right, and I'm looking back over this to try and make sure we don't have any extras in places they shouldn't be. And I'm just going to take a moment. Now, when you use your wax pens to pick these stones up, don't press real hard because it'll make you real sad when it's time to put that transfer tape on top of these stones. And what'll happen is the transfer tape won't even pick it up because you got wax on the top of it. And transfer tape Glue and wax don't really mix, okay? So you want to be careful. Just barely touch it. Barely touch that stone, and usually it'll come right on with that wax tip, okay? That did not want to cooperate. Let's get you right on over here. Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shamed. Now, I apologize. I ain't quite paying too much attention to the chat, but I guarantee you, Mr. McQuacken's going to go ahead and let me know if there's anything I need to answer while we're doing this because I ain't looking. He'll tell me in his earpiece. All right. So we got a couple more places that we need to put some stones in. And then we'll put this topaz, smoke topaz up. Now, like I said, we're starting with smoke topaz. That's what color this here is. Now, you can use smoke topaz for skin tone. You can use it for footballs. And if I remember Mr. McQuackens correctly, you probably can use it for basketballs, too. I'm not 100% sure on the basketball thing. All right, so he says yes. So we have all of our, whoop, I just knocked some out of the darn, out of place, because I use my sticky hand, not my, clean dry hand so let's put that back all right so we have all of our stones in there we're going to clean up go ahead and get these put up out of the way so that we don't mix up our stones we're going to brush it right off the edge of that there table and put it back into the ice chip all right so that's our smoked topaz let's grab our coffee And we're going to brush this coffee in there. And like I said, same thing. We're just going to be real careful how we brush this in. So that we don't cross over into the other. Even though we probably will. And it's all right. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It's going to add just a little bit more work. And we okay with a little bit more work. All right, so we're going to brush these on 
down the river. And get them in there nice and straight. And this is how well your stones brush in when you got a good template. All right. So if they're not brushing in this easy, check the size of the holes of that template. Because nine times out of ten, them holes ain't right. Because it should not be difficult to get your stones in. All right. Looks like I done poured just the right amount, didn't I? Yep, sure did. All right. So. Brush over it. Make sure I ain't missing any extra stones. Boy, howdy, if I hit that thing on the head, that's going to be a trip. That would be the second time ever I done done that. Nope, just a little bit shy. We... What's that? Four stones too short. Alrighty, so let's grab four. That was six. Look like I can't count. Hold on. Alrighty, and then one more. There we go. Put it back. Set it off to the side. Now we're going to go with our light topaz. Same thing. Brush these in. And like I said, this is good representation of the different brown-ish colors that we have. So if you're ever interested in trying to decide, hey, I want to make this shirt and I want that particular skin tone, well, here you are. This is This is... This is what we got to help you make that make that their decision. That don't look like me. Do that look like me? We're going to judge that a little bit later. All right, let's brush that right on in. Ran out. I'm being facetious. This man in here telling me that this is my color. He gonna make me put my leg up here on this table and show y'all that he ain't quite right. All right. There we go. So let's go ahead and get this thing put in right here. That's one. And that's two. Ooh, that look good. Now, I like this here design. That's real pretty. All right. And this is sign language for those who may not know. Sign language for, ooh, child, L-O-V-E. For those who may not know sign language, that's what these here fingers is showing. L-O-V and then E. So, see, on this here channel, you learn all kind of stuff, don't you? I don't hear teacher sign language. I know I'm a whole alphabet and I can sign with both hands. All right. So we're going to use us this here champagne because we doing the word love and we love all the colors. You know, we don't play no, no differences over here. We love them all. As long as you crafting and you're friendly and like to have a good time, we'll dag never you welcome over here on this here channel. All right. Let's go on down. Brush down some more. I'm being real stingy with these stones. Let me pour a little bit more. Brush that in. And boom. That looks real good. So... So, Mr. Excellent Dreams, we want you to know that your templates are bomb.com. They brush in real good. 
Cricut behaved. I, I uploaded it right on into Cricut and it worked absolutely great. The only thing I had to change was the part that I cut out in that purple uh, vinyl because it was a little bit too big for the Cricut. So I had to change it a little bit. Alrighty, so let's put this champagne up and then we'll talk about it again and let you know what we here playing with. So here are the browns that we have. And you're going to see it a little bit better once we put it on that there hoodie. We got our smoked topaz. We got our coffee. We got our light topaz. And this here right here is champagne. All right. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Topaz was a little bit too gold for me, sir. So let us make sure. See, look there. Can y'all see that? This is our KTM mass tape, my favorite tape in the whole wide rhinestone world. Whole wide world. And you get this from Heat Transfer Warehouse. This is the best stuff on the planet. The link will be in the description below. And as you see, it's KTM mask and it's 12 inches. But this here design is bigger than 12 inches. Look at that finger sticking out up there. So we're going to have to be real strategic in how we do this. And if you ain't never went over there to Trace Sweet Touch Productions channel, she shows you real easy how to fix that. And we're going to do the exact same thing she did. All right, so let's cut this up with our rolly cutter because it makes it smooth like butter when you use the rolly cutter. We're going to peel this off. Now, it's going to be a little loud. I apologize. Just a little bit. I apologize, but, you know, we got to get it off of there. And now this part right here, be careful. I know it's a little intimidating. Don't let it intimidate you. You got this. So just bend it just like this. See the U-shape right there? Just bend it just like that. Hold it by the tips. And when you go straight down, don't quit. Commit. Don't quit. Commit. Just go down. Because the worst thing that can happen is for it to go this way or go that way. And even then, that ain't the worst thing that can happen. So don't worry about it. Just go straight down. Even if the static pulls you up some stuff, don't worry about it. If you're afraid of some static electricity, take your dry sheet and rub over the top of this before you peel it off and then lay your your tape down, all right? I ain't got on too many clothes, so I ain't worried too much about no stacks. Let's go down. One, two, three, quit, don't commit. Boom, just like that, and we're laid down, and we're good, okay? So, as I showed you, the tape is smaller than our design, because there's some right there, and then we got a little bit hanging off over here. That's all right. We're going to use this here same tape to fix that up, all right? So since we got all this wasted tape up here, we're gonna go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna cut into it just like this, not a whole bunch, just a little bit. And we're gonna try real hard not to cut my finger like I did the other day with the scissors. Real smart move, all right? Cut another little piece off. This little piece I'm gonna put right on over here. To make sure that this side of the hand is completely covered and picked up. All stones are now touching tape. And up here, we're going to use this and do the exact same thing. All stone, touching tape. Boom, we're done. Just that easy, just that quick. I sure did, Sheila Cushionberry. It's been a real fibromyalgia day, so we went real light today. So don't, don't be too, too shocked. All right, so again... Before we press this, we did smoked topaz. We did coffee. We did light topaz. And we did champagne. All right. Those are the colors that we use. And yes, we do sell all of those in our buy in. And the buy in is ongoing right now, but it will end tomorrow. All right. It will end tomorrow. So this is your last chance. To get in on buy in number nine. All right. So we're going to lay this pretty purple back down on, on the thing. All right. Ooh, that's pretty. I absolutely love that glitter, glitter vinyl. This is one of my favorite shades. 
Come on, piece of lint, get on off of there. All right, so now let's line this here up. Be careful. Build off, you use you some good KTM mass just like we use, and you ain't got to worry about it not picking up your stones. That cheap heat transfer tape, you might have you some issues. All right. I'm going to lay this down to get myself together. And now let's line this up. Cool thing about glitter vinyl is you can bling on glitter vinyl. Just got to be careful because sometimes it will come off over time. But for the most part, they should stick and you should be good. Alrighty, so got that on there. And part of me is wishing I had to use black glitter vinyl, but I still think it's going to be real pretty. All right, so we lined it up. It's going to be real pretty. Y'all ready? Let's go and put this over here on Tilly. Let's throw Tilly up there on the screen. Get everything lined up. We got the drawer pulled out so I don't get burnt. Absolutely love that feature about this here heat press that I got from Heat Transfer Warehouse. All right. Real pretty. So let's go ahead. 350 degrees for 12 seconds. And I'm actually going to hang on for another about 50. Uh, mm. About another five seconds just to be sure because your your sweatshirt is a little thick it shouldn't make a difference but you never know we're gonna be give us a little bit of heat insurance let's pull this here out and who's ready to see this final result it's gonna be real pretty because our stones our bling is indeed the finer thing howdy doody how that look right there? Does that look good to y'all? If it look good to y'all, throw some purple hearts up in there in that chat. Hopefully that thing is catching all that bling right there. But guess what, y'all? We gonna show it to you over here on the table. All right, let's put it on over here on this here table. Boom, just like that. How pretty is that? Tell me that ain't pretty. Look at them colors. All the colors we represent right here on this here shirt. So we're going to hold it. We're going to show you this is your smoke topaz. This here's your coffee. This here's your light topaz. And this here's your champagne. All right. And then we surrounded it with some purple glitter. Because that's my favorite. Love that purple glitter. Favorite color. And here we've got some busting rhinestones that you can get hold of in this here buy-in. It's going on right now. All right. So let's make a real nice gift for somebody. But you need all four of them colors so that they know that you love the colors too. All right. So here we go. I got my purple glitter HTV from a company called WM Plastics, but you can get glitter HTV from Heat Transfer Warehouse as well. So if you're going to have to get you some rhinestone flop and some KTM mask, you might as well get you some purple glitter too. This template, I got it from off of Etsy. And the name of the designer is Excellent Dreams with a Z. I'm sorry. Yeah, excellent dreams with with the Z. All right, absolutely love this design. I thought it was totally adorable. All righty. So we had a question earlier. We wanted to know the closest color to burgundy that we had, and then we'll also be looking at our browns. I'm not our browns, our golds, because gold is one of the other colors that people try real hard to match and we want to help you guys out as much as possible 
Thank you, Tan you. Tan you. <laughs> the country overtook me. I apologize. All right. So here's Topaz. Topaz is one of the goals that we have. Then we got this here. Gold orange JB. We're going to show that here in a minute. That's a little bit special. Then we got our John Quill. Arm Dorado. And this one here is Crystal Golden Shadow. Now these four are the ones, in my opinion, that are the closest to gold. Now a lot of it depends on the shade of gold you're trying to get to. All right. So y'all ask about these here football teams. Can't help you with that. I don't watch the football. Not like that. So I don't know what shade you would prefer over somebody else. For instance, we got us a member here in this here channel. She does a lot of those AKA t-shirts with her rhinestones. We got three different shades of pink you can choose from. You can go with the light rose, you can go with the rose, or you can go with the fusion. And it's entirely up to the user or the person who's getting that shirt which pink they prefer. Now, I have family that's AKA, and they're real specific about which pink it is that I choose to do for them, and they will only take rose. They won't do the light rose or the fuchsia, but there's somebody else out there that will take that light rose or that fuchsia over the rose because they would prefer that tone. So that's why I like to show you guys these different colors and then let you make the choice yourself. So let me grab my template that I was using the other day. I gotta find it because I told myself to set it right here and apparently I did not. I got my breast cancer template. Oh, did not put it right here. I bet I slipped it back over there on that thing. All right, give me a second. Let me find this here template because I had it. It's the heart so that it's easier for us to there we go. I put it back. See, so one time putting stuff back just come back to haunt me. All right, so this heart is real easy to do. It brushes real good. So we're going to do the heart. I'm going to slide this over just a little bit more so that you can still see it in case you got any more questions about the colors. And we're going to brush these here golds so that you can see what they look like. All right. Now I'm going to grab me a piece of fabric over here that we're going to press it to. Oh, man, that looks tragic. All right. Let me get my scissors. Um, oh, Lord. Where you come from? Light topaz. Light topaz. We about to use topaz now. So you can make a comparison when we use this here topaz for this experiment so that we can see what these different colors look like. All right. I also brought citrine. So as you can see, because some, some folks like, what's the name of that team? I think the Saints or something. You could, I don't know if you want to Saints, I think. See, I don't know. It's just crazy. So this here goal kind of trying to think of what this goal reminds me of. But this is our arm Dorado. So if you are able to hold these up to the light, you can't see through these here stones because these are metallic stones. They're not crystal stones. So this is more of a gold 
that has a metallic feel, you know, and and appearance to it. So the men folk might like this here a little bit better. It kind of depends on the man folk that you're dealing with. Some men folk don't want the bling at all, but this is more metal, not crystal. So they might like this here a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to grab these couple in there and put this in there. Hopefully I ain't missing no important questions. All right. Let's get this here. Arm Dorado put up. This is arm. Like I said, it's a metallic. All right. And I'm going to use the KTM mask that we just used already. I'm going to use it again. Okay. There's that one. The color that's going in the heart right now is Arm Dorado. We can run do our gold. So this is Arm Dorado. We're going to set it off to the side because we're going to try and do all these here round about the same time. Yeah, that black diamond on black is real nice. Now we're going to go with Topaz. Now Topaz is more like a gold bar in my opinion. It's like that shade of gold. Why is my dog looking at the back door and wagging her tail like somebody is coming here? I don't recall hearing no car pull over. She is definitely wagging her tail looking at the door. All right. Creeping me out a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my door is locked. My goodness. All right. I thought I did hear something out there, but not no car. Okay. Let's touch this. Let's get that. Grab this one. And grab that one. Boom. Just like that. We're done. So let's get this here cleaned up. Now, this is Topaz. We didn't use Topaz on this shirt. But as you can see, look at the heart. It's a little bit lighter. like the coffee a little bit. But you're going to see a lot better once we press it to this here black fabric. All right, clean that up, put our chip up. What do we do? We did all of them already, so we're going to move that off to the side, and we're going to go ahead and pick this here up right beside the oven. All righty. Like to make that tape pop like that, but sometimes you can't help it. Okay, so let me check and see if this here is gonna fit beside it, and yes, it will. So, so this here, we did Arm Dorado, we did Topaz, there's John Quill. Let's do Crystal Golden, and then after we do Crystal Golden, we're gonna show you the John Quill, the Gold Orange. And the citrine, just so that you can get a good gander at what you think is going to work best for your projects when you're using gold. Now, gold is coming into its season, y'all. It's going to be a lot of gold wearing this time of year. So, got to keep that in mind. It's going to be real pretty on some of these here projects. Now, this one is Crystal Golden Shadow. Look at how perfect that brushed in. Let's grab one. Put it in there. This is a crystal 
everything except for the arm is a crystal that we're using right now. The other metallic we have is the Labrador. That's silver metallic. That Labrador looks real good. All right. So this is crystal gold and shadow. All right. Go down and commit. Don't quit. That's going to be a little bit closer to that heart. I don't care because this is just a dem demonstration. So that you can see these here golds. All right. Now, to save myself some stress and aggravation, we're going to go ahead and press these three. And then we'll come back and get the other three. Because I'm pretty sure I can grab them all, but why take that chance when we ain't got to? Okay. Let's grab this. Let's put this down. And this is where we're going to put these hearts. And you can see them a little bit better. But wait till we press this here thing. All right. So let's go on over here to Tilly. This is just some plain black cotton fabric. Nothing special. Nothing fancy. 12 seconds, 350 degrees. And I didn't even tighten it down any. We ain't even going to have to. Because it's still going to press to this here fabric. All right, let's pull this out and show you this here gold arm, then the topaz, then the crystal golden shadow. That's those three. All right, real pretty. Real pretty. All right, let's get this. Let's get this put over there on the. Get this over here on the table. Where's my cardboard? Oh, it's under the shirt. Well, that wasn't too well thought out. Let's see. We're going to use this here mat. And hopefully it'll be cool enough. All right. So, again, this is the metallic one. This is Arm Dorado. This here's Topaz. And this here is crystal gold and shadow. So you got three different golds. Now, if you look at them real close, this gold favors that gold. It's just like a lighter version of this here gold right here. And then this one here, this here topaz, is more like your yellow gold. So you use your yellow gold, put you in the mind of them gold bars you see in them their Western movies. So this one's real nice. That's real, that's real pretty. Now I'm going to show it to you over here against this here coffee so that you can see how some of these browns can add up and show off some of these here colors so as you see this is a uh, topaz that's your topaz and that's your coffee that's your smoke topaz. So that's topaz, smoke topaz, topaz, and light topaz. All right. So if you ever wanted to see what those look like, smoke topaz, topaz, and light topaz. All right. So that's why I didn't use that there topaz over here because I wanted to go from the dark tone all the way to the light. Right. Now, I guess if I turn myself a certain way, I probably could reflect off of that there crystal golden or that light topaz, but we're going to leave that alone. That's, that's a discussion for another day. All right. Now, this one here is metallic. This one here is Arm Dorado. Gold Rush. I love it, Regina. That was a perfect name for all these here gold stones. That's this Gold Rush. All right. So let's go back to the rest of them now. So here's, here's our Arm. Here's a topaz, and here's our crystal golden shadow. But we still got gold orange AB. This is an AB color. So it's going to pull in some of your golds, some of your reds, and some of your oranges. And this here is Jonquil. All right. That is a, like a light, light, real light gold. And then here's citrine, just so that you can see what the yellow looks like up against all these gold tones. Okay. 
So this is what we fence to do right now. So we're going to start with the gold orange AB. All right. Gold orange AB does have like a metallic type feel to it. So it's almost like the arm with a AB coating on it. That's the vibe that it gives me. So I'm pretty sure that's what this here is. However, we're going to let you judge for yourself. Just how pretty this here is. All right. So we're going to brush this right on off. There we go. Put that back where it belongs. Get our pin. And we got four down here that need to be put in place. And then we got three up there that need to be put in place. There's that one. There's that one. And then these three. One. Two. Three. Perfect. All right, so let's clean up our stones and be real careful. We don't want to bump this so we don't knock no stones up. I see an extra stone. We don't want to knock no stones out of place. I really wanted to get my crafty little thing shirt going tonight. And just, uh, my feelings was hurt real bad, y'all, because I couldn't get that shirt made. All right. Let's grab our same transfer tape we just used. Let's get a little crispy because we done used it so much, but it's all right. We're going to go down and pick this here up. All right. Try not to make it pop like I just did because, boy, I tell you that. That's not, not good. It'll throw them stones right off of there. All right, so that was gold orange AB. So now we're going to do this here, John Quill. Now, Patrice Craftable Things, she did her shirt the other day on her channel. I mean, you can go check out her channel now because she does real good with these here rhinestones. And she put this here, John Quill, on the shirt, and that gold pop. I ain't expected to pop that good, y'all. I was shocked. I said I've been sleeping on this here, John Quill. Not giving it its due. So, here we go. This is the John Quill, and we're going to show just how pretty this is tonight. All right. What's going on with that stone? Hmm. Let's go to a different one, just in case. Oh, it's something already in there. That's what's wrong. That there's a dud stone. Air blue moon, you might get you a dud. It's not quite as shiny as the others. It's all right. You just put that in out the pasture and grab you a nud. All right. Here we go. And boom. Just like that. Let's pick these here John Quill stones up and clean up our stuff so we don't mix up our stones. You don't want to mix up your stones now, so work one color at a time. All right, so there's that one. Let's pick this one up so then we can move on to the citrine so that you can see what that looks like. All right, so I'm going to set this down. Nope. Whoops, look what I just did, y'all. That's why I said, boy, I tell you, you got to be careful. Got to be careful. Good thing I'm used to it. No matter what I said, the wrong thing on this here camera. It don't quite bother me like it used to. Used to be real sad. Not no more. Not about let no rhinestones bump up take me out of my character so let's get that brushed in there we go 
All right. There we go. So how many of y'all in here in this here chat been sleeping on the gold? Ain't really thought too much about gold, because gold's just like black color. Nope. Gold is a good color. Spacing? I don't know, Nicole Reeves. All I did with this here thing is just made a heart. I hadn't really thought too, <laughs> hadn't really thought too much about it after I made it. I ain't going to lie to you. I wish I had a... Because that's, that's a question that your craftable things and... You're making with Maryland's is real good at answering because I'm not completely proficient at making templates just yet. We working on it. We working on that. All right. So that's gold orange. That's the John Quill. And now let's finally do our citrine and then we can move on to that there maroon or burgundy color okay and y'all believe when i've been through this show we at the halfway mark and i ain't forget it's a miracle now this here is citrine now this citrine this is a real pretty stone it shine real bright especially on dark colors so if you like some whatever team like Lakers, I think, use this as yellow and the purple. It's a real pretty yellow. All right. Now let's hope we don't bump that there because that went in real good and easy. We don't want to mess that up. All right. So let's grab this. Again, we're going to put this down. And this is what, our third time using this here KTM mass transfer tape, heat transfer tape. Now, you can't just use any tape. It's got to be heat transfer tape because they got other transfer tape that don't work on that there heat press. It'll melt and make a whole hot food mess, and we don't want that. All right. That's going to be real pretty, y'all. All right. So let's pull this down. And let's lay this down on this here fabric. Let's get our goals. All right. I'll come down just a smidge. Blues and black, Laura E. I got that there heat tool from a distributor, but I'm pretty sure they got them there on Amazon. All right. So we over here on Tilly, and I have to notice one of my stones done turned over. So I'm going to have to lay that back in place. All right, perfect. Let's push this up under. We're going to press it. Actually, let's tighten that down. 350 degrees for 12 seconds. Three, two, one. And then let you guys see just how real gorgeous these golds are. All right. So this first one, as we said, was gold orange AB. Middle one, John Quill. Third one, Citrine. Here are six colors that could be used for gold. Gold colors. If you like these here gold colors, find you a yellow heart and put it in the chat for me so that you can see just how pretty that is. And that one stone just done slid off to the side, but it's all right. That ain't what we want that there for. We want you to just see the colors, not for it to be perfect. Let's come back over here on this here table. And there you got it. Here are our goals. So we're going to go over this again. Pot of gold. Yes, ma'am, kid of blue. This here is the pot of gold. All right. So let's go over this here again. This here is the arm dorado. All right. This here is topaz. All right. 
This one here is Chris Golden Shadow. This one here is Gold Orange AB. Now that Gold Orange AB is real special. Let me see if I can't get it to work. I might have to bring it down here. So that Gold Orange AB, when you turn it different ways, it'll go gold, it'll look orange, it'll look yellow. It'll look all kind of colors because that's just how special that AB coating is. So that's that Gold Orange AB. And right in here, we got that John Quill. And right over here, we got Citrine. Now that Citrine, that's that uni color right there. That's that best uni color. And as she says, so eloquently, that there is busting. Okay? So all of our bling, bling's hard because it's the finer thing. You can get all these colors right now. They're available in this here buy-in. So if you're looking for goldish looking colors, earthen tone, tone colors, your browns, your creams, this is the lineup that you're looking for. Okay? This here is the lineup. Fall. These are gorgeous. These are gorgeous colors. So we got, I'm going to go down the line again. Somebody going to ask. So I'm going to go down it again. We got Arm Dorado. This is metallic. We got Topaz. That Topaz is real pretty. We got Crystal Golden Shadow. One of my favorites. It busts real hard. This one here is Gold Orange AB. This one here is John Quill. This one here is Citrine. This one here is Smoke Topaz. Real pretty now. This one here is that coffee. This one here is that light topaz. And this one here is champagne. <laughs> we like champagne. Okay. So these here are our earthy tones, golds, and browns. Now, on to our next question. Our next question was burgundy. What's the closest thing to burgundy? Now, that question is a little bit difficult because, for the most part, we only got the two reds. We got our light cyan, and we got our cyan. All right? So, this here's our light cyan. And I was trying to see if I had, because I could have swore I brought my cyan in here. And for right now, I don't see it. If you got any questions, go ahead and throw it in the chat while I try and find my Cyan. I may have to go get it because I don't see it. And I don't know that that's enough light Cyan either. Might have to snatch me a little bit more from in the back. So, I tell you what. Since we know that this is the finer thing and we just centralizing y'all, let's go ahead and centralize y'all just a little bit, you know. Give you a break. Give your eyes a break from all this bling because it's, it's tough. All right. So, How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Ice Box, where our bling is the finer thing. All right, so. Somebody in the chat pointed out, hey, Jenny McKinney. How you doing, honey? Appreciate you joining us tonight. Somebody in the chat, Winetta Wilson, we're going to go ahead and show you that amethyst. Because I didn't really think too hard about amethyst like that. But to a certain degree, you was right. Because this, this amethyst is purple, but it's got a reddish tone to it. So we're going to go ahead and show you that. Tiffany, you can order anytime you want to, baby dollar. The buy-in is open, but it will close tomorrow night. 
So if you're going to get you some of these here busting stones, then you might want to go ahead and do that right away. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the colors that I think are closer to the maroon you're looking for and see how it works. Okay. And let's go ahead. And we're going to start with amethyst because I, I just, I, I promise you, I ain't really think too hard about amethyst being kind of like a maroon or a burgundy, but you, you got a, you got a point there. So we're going to go ahead and brush this here in and let you judge and decide. Okay. Let's slide that back some so that I have room. All right. What did I do with my? There it is. And this is going to be our fourth time using that there transfer tape. And it's going to stick just as good as it did the first time. Absolutely look. So let's grab this here. Amethyst and put it back. Whoop. Got one that's running away. Now keep in mind. If you was wanting to try these different colors to figure out what's going to work for you, you can grab you an ice pick. The ice pick comes with five different colors. You can try it out. See if it's what you want. You get 20 gross and that says 10 of each color. And then you can judge for yourself if that's the color that's going to work with your project. All right. Now let's pick this here up. Because like I said, this is number four. Look at there. Picked it up just as clean as if it was a brand new piece of tape. Don't let it fold over on itself like I just did because that's a pain in the butt. All right. So that there was amethyst. Let's move that off to the side. Now we're going to go with cyan. Now this cyan is about as dark red as you can get. We can go a little bit darker, but for right now, this is this is our, our darkest in the red. All right. And this one kind of put me in the mind of, you know, that blood red. It's real pretty. And you will be able to be able to tell a big difference once we put that light red, that light side M on there. A few more stones, not a whole lot, won't take much. But them ice picks is real handy. For helping get a little bit of every kind of color that you might want. All right. Put these in here because we got a few that didn't want to cooperate. They didn't want to act right. All right. One more. We doggy. All right. Let's put these up. And there we got. I am. That I am is real pretty, y'all. It's real pretty. I did. This here is I am. All right. That's the second one. And now, just so that you can see the difference in the I am and the light I am, we're going to go ahead and do light I am as well. Although it is not. Uh, a burgundy. It's very red, like fire engine red. But we're going to go ahead and show you 
the different shade in the red from the light cyan and the regular cyan. All right. All right, one stone, boom, that's real pretty. Oh, that's pretty. All right, let's get this swept off and cleaned off. Boy, I tell y'all, we doing real good with this here time. I'm impressed. It's going to make me do better. Preparation. <laughs> Lord. All right, so let's get this here, heart. Boom. Now, where did this here stone come from? That's amethyst. It don't look like it came out of that heart, so we'll see where it came from. All right, and this is the last one. Does fuchsia have too much purple to be burgundy? Well, we're going to have to find out then. We're going to have to go get us some of that fair fuchsia. Try it out. Can't hurt. And I think. No, I used to have a fuchsia in here. I, I don't keep, I don't have a fuchsia. Took fuchsia out. What color is this? That's amethyst. Okay, so we got a couple of rogue amethyst. Let's hope it ain't coming off of our thing. All right. So let's put these here down. Nope, it ain't coming off of this here. I don't know where that's coming from. All right, so let's go ahead and put this over there on Tilly. And as you see, I am pressing and repressing all of these stones. I'm not, not changing none of them. I'm not moving in fine. And it's going to be all right. Let's put that up under. 350 degrees for 12 seconds. Five, four. Three, two, and then one. All right. Now, this here's amethyst. This here's cyan. And that there's that light cyan. Okay. Very pretty colors. Very pretty colors. Amethyst. Cyan and light cyan. Let's take it over to the table where we got a little bit more light. Look at that. Oh my goodness, y'all. Hot totator wedges. Look at that there. Now that there's some fire. So this here, well, I tell you that does kind of kind of put me in the in the burgundy look now. Just a little bit. And then, of course, this is the cyan. And it does give me maroon tendency. Well, I meant maroon and, and burgundy. I don't know. I'd have to look them up. And then and this here is that light cyan. Now, just to show you how that light cyan, because we do have light cyan AB. And we did us a shirt, I think it was last week, with that light cyan right here. And when I tell you this here shirt's fire, and it's the wrong, it's a, it's a size large in women's. It makes me sad because I can't wear it. Look at that. That's that light Siam and that light Siam AB. And it's real pretty, y'all. Look at that. Good gracious of hot, hot dog toe wedges. That's crazy. Make you think you out there in the middle of the night looking at the stars. Look at that. That there's pretty. So that's that light cyan and the light cyan AB. This here is cyan and this here is amethyst. Complementary color. Which one? This here is Labrador, which is a metallic silver. 
And this here's lights I am. And this here's lights I am AB. So these are the colors that's on this here shirt. You love that there lights I am, that lights I am is, is busting. Yes, it is, girl. Yes, it is. All right. Let's grab Fuchsia. Shouldn't take me long. All right. So we got this here fuchsia. Now let's see how this fuchsia plays. Now, me personally, I don't know. I don't know how well that's gonna work as far as trying to say if it's maroon or burgundy, but we going we gonna see. Roll this fabric up just a little bit and we'll put it down here somewhere. All right, have to straighten it out. I have to press that crease out of there. All right, so let's take a look at this here, Fusion. Good night. Miss Barbara Bonaparte, know how it is when you're tired. Got to get you some rest. Unfortunately, I decided I was going to take me a senior nap today. Got quite a bit of energy going on right here. So we're going to be up for a good little while. Working on this here video I got to get out. Show y'all just how pretty this here embroidery can be when you're dealing with country stuff. And how you can take bling and put a little bit of country to it. All right. Well, I knocked that one out. Okay. There's an extra one right there. It's gonna move you from right here to over here. All right, let me get my transfer tape. Let's press number five. Press number five. Let's pull this up. Look at here. Look at here. It's as if I just put it down for the first time, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. All right. So, I'm going to press this here crease out over there on Tilly. And then I'm going to lay this heart over there while it's on Tilly. All right? Because I don't like that there crease. That's going to drive me, have me heated. Matter of fact, let's do this right here. So I can mainly press that out. And then... All right, see, we can't get that crease out of there a little bit. Just a little bit. It wasn't too much, but and then again, I didn't have it on pressing super heavy. All right. Turn this around. 
Get that straight. Let's put this down. All right, so we're trying to determine whether it's close to the maroon or the burgundy. So we're going to put it over here closer to this side. All right. 350 degrees, 12 seconds. And then we'll get to see whether or not this here fuchsia is close enough to maroon or the burgundy. Let's peel this off. Tilly did her thing again. And here we got fuchsia. And that's up under the amethyst. And right here near the side am. So that you can determine whether or not this is closer to the maroon or the burgundy that you're looking for. Now let's get this over here on this here light on the big table. And let you see. Now what you think. Sheila Cushionberry, that there is a good idea. Only thing is, because it's for me, I kind of know <laughs> what the colors are, but yeah, it would have helped y'all. Y'all had been able to see what these here colors are. Let's see if we can't do it this here way. Because it's all it's more than one way to skin cats, even though I don't like skinning cats. Because I like cats. All right. So this one here. Aurum. That there is Aurum Dorado. This one here is Topaz. This one here is Crystal Golden Shadow. All right, this one here is gold orange AB. All right, this one here is John Quill. This one here is Citrine. This one here is Amethyst. This one here is that side am. This one here is light side am. And this one here is fuchsia. Now I'm not going to write on my shirt. This one here is smoke topaz. This one here is coffee. This one here is light topaz. And this one here. Champagne. All right. So let's pull this up and see if y'all can see these here labels that I done wrote on there. Look at that. That there's bussing. So if you need to take you a screenshot, go ahead and take that screenshot right there so you can show folks that your bling it's part of the finer thing. All right. That way you'll know. Hopefully that looks good to you guys. If it does, give me some thumbs up in the chat. So that I know that y'all appreciate being able to tell the difference between all these here colors. So that you can see these colors. And know exactly what it is that you're looking for. Sharon Davenport says she thinks that amethyst is closest. Andrea says she thinks that Siam is what she needs. At the end of the day, the best determination is going to be between you and your customer. And let your customer decide. And if you are the customer, then. Dagnabbit, you do what fits your 
Rip Tor. I think that's real pretty, y'all. That thing, look at that, look at that. That's just, that don't make no sense how that's catching the light right there like that. I swear it don't. All right. So there we have it. We done, we done press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 colors tonight. 14 colors. And at some point in time, we'll have hearts in all the colors so that you can see them all. I got me this here little container over here somewhere. What did I do with it? Yep, right here. It has little bitty hearts in it with some of the other colors. Like this one here is that blue flame, but it's on white. So here's one that's on black. Black Diamond AB. Do I have Black Diamond AB on the duck? I think I do. Let me see. Is that what this is? I can't remember. I know the one that I did is. But it's in the bathroom. Hanging up off of the Let's go grab that. And show what that looks like. Let's see. Oh, um, no, not this one. It's the wrong one. So. What the heck? We just gonna go get us some black diamond AB. Pretty sure I got me some chips in here. Or some black diamond AB. Yes, I do. Now this black diamond AB is a real pretty color. Should have grabbed black diamond when I was thinking about it. It would be all right. Because I got black diamond on Mr. McQuackens. Sir McQuackens, sorry. Oh, and there's some black diamond right there. All right. What to do with the template is right there. Let's slide this up. Oh, we got about 20 more minutes. We can play with a couple more colors. So this black diamond is going to fit right in the next 20 minutes. Black Diamond and this Black Diamond AB. Now, this Black Diamond AB is real pretty. So basically what the Black Diamond AB is, is the Black Diamond Stone with an AB coat on it. So one of the things I am going to caution you against is when you get your stones, if you so choose to get Black Diamond AB and Amethyst AB, Tanzanite AB, Jet AB, you get those colors, you're going to get them in these chips or in, in your boxes, and you're going to be like, hey, hold on. This here is the same colors. No, they're not the same colors. They're all very different colors, but I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to tell. It's going to take a little bit of finesse, but you will be able to tell. All right, so let's brush this here off. Go. That black diamond, black diamond AB is real pretty. I do like it. Let's see. But I think out of all of them, I'm trying to think if it's the amethyst AB that I like more than that. All right, so let's get this on here. There's an overlap right there. That's not good. All right. Let's clean this here up. With my ABs, I always check the back of the chip or the front of the container, make sure I'm putting the right color in the right container. This ain't nothing worse than to mix up colors. Don't ask me how I know. 
All right, so this is press number what? Number six, ain't it? We done got up to number six. I think we did. Now, I told y'all in the past. Now you get up to number seven. It's gonna be a little bit, a little bit tight. But number seven. Look at there. Up. Oh, see, we got one stone left behind. So that's why I'm saying <clears throat> you get up to about seven. And it's time to get you a new piece of tape. But we doing good. All right. And here's black diamond. We're going to go ahead and put this black diamond on there. Might as well. So as you can see. This here is the base to that. So they took this stone. And put an AB foil on it. To make black diamond AB. That's all they did. And it did turn out real pretty. You like that AB look. But I mean, all the stones is pretty. I know you're going to probably be like, Lord, she done said pretty how many times tonight? Well, dagnab it. I got to call it like it is. Ace, ace, and spade, spade. And this here's pretty. We missing one. Let's get this one stone in there. And let's clean this up. So this here is, can be real relaxing. If you take your time, sit down, get your nice cup of, cup of coffee, get you some good old country music playing in the background. And have you a good old time. Pressing out these here rhinestones. Make yourself make yourself a rhinestone cowboy. Alright. So there we go. Look at there. Pick right on up. We doing good. And let's put this right here beside this here fuchsia. And it's probably going to be about the last couple colors we're going to do tonight. Because... For whatever reason I'm in pain all right so let's put this over here on this here heat press over here on Tilly that I did not pull the drawer back out all right and we're gonna press these two all right 350 degrees 12 seconds Hopefully, y'all know that in memory by now. All right, pull this here out. And here you got that there black diamond AB. And the black diamond right there beside. All right. Now, for those of you who come on over here on this here table, those of you who may not know how to tell which AB it is that you got, we're going to try and show you, okay? Might be a little bit difficult because we on camera. But the way I generally do it is I press it to something and then I turn that stone or I'll hold it in the container. You can hold it in the container too, like this right here. This is that black diamond AB. You can hold it in the container a lot of times. Make sure you're under the light. And just like from my angle with me standing here, that and that looks exactly the same. You can kind of see that clear black in that stone. And if it'll help you, if you have black diamond AB, and tanzanite AB, and amethyst AB, and jet AB, if it'll help you out, you do this here same thing. You press you the hearts right side by side. And look at the, the four of them side by side. And when you turn them, in certain ways, they will look about the same. But when you turn that just that, like right here for me, that black diamond and that black diamond, a, B look exactly the same because of the way that it's turned. 
You're welcome, Sharon Davenport. We appreciate your support. You're always an awesome supporter, and we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yee, Dolly! Holler! Yes, sir. All right? So, yeah. Go ahead and check that and turn it. And when you turn it, you will see that base color. You will see that base color when you turn it and hold it up in the light yourself at home. You can see that crystal all the way through. Now, the Jet AB, on the other hand, when you turn it and you look, you won't see crystal. You won't see any crystal color. That's because it is not a crystal stone. It's like a solid color stone. So it's taking like that jet black and putting the coating on it. And so it doesn't reflect with the crystal. You can't see through it. So that's how you can tell your Jet AB from all the other colors. But I promise you that darn Tanzanite AB, when you turn that thing and you see that Tanzanite, you're like, woo, doggy, that thing is real nice. It's real nice. I'm trying to tell y'all. So here is the Black Diamond. Black Diamond AB. Let's go ahead and write that on there since she Cushberry gave us the good idea to label this here thing so that in the future... You guys can know. Because I already know them. These here are my babies. So I know them by heart. All right. Boom. So, hope you guys enjoyed looking at all these here colors. These stones is looking real nice. I hope you enjoyed seeing the uh, design that we got on here from Excellent Dreams. His designs are real pretty, real nice. Large. That's the other thing I like about them. They're large. So, it takes up a lot of retail space on the front of your shirt. So, the more busting stones you got, these finer thing stones work real nice with his designs because they're really going to catch that, that these folks' eye and they're going to try and figure out where you got them their stones from and you have to tell them, we, we got the finer things. And our finer things come from the baby's booty over there that they're buying that she does every month for a few days. So if you're interested in getting you some of these here busting stones and you want it to turn heads wherever you go, then you better jump right in on this here buy-in. These stones are so busting you get you stopped at the TSA at the airport. You don't believe me? You ask precious pieces. They stopped her. Pulled out the test kit to test her stones because they said these stones are too busting. These must be diamonds. Now, why a black woman can't go through TSA with some real diamonds in a whole container, I don't know, but it's all right. She let them know, yes, we got the finer thing. So that's why y'all got mixed up with these, these babies' booty stones right here. So that kit showed them we had the finer thing. All right. The buy-in will end tomorrow. By in will end tomorrow night. So if you have not got your stones now, and we have Klarna, we take Klarna pay now. Klarna, Klarna money is good with us. So if you got to do bust it up and some payments or something, that's all right. We understand. I done had to do it too. But we do take Klarna if you're interested. And like I said, you 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 place your order, and everybody's orders go together. So when it ends tomorrow night. Tuesday morning, I got my work cut out for me. I got to get all these orders together and send them right on overseas and tell them, look, this here what these people want. Send me them stones. Run me them stones. And that's what they do. It takes about 30 days by the time I get it and get it out to you. But I guarantee we got a chat right here full of folk that's done order stones and they got their stones and they ain't stiff nobody for their money. So you're going to get your stones. You just got to be a little bit patient. Plan ahead. And we're going to get you taken care of. So, keep in mind again, we're in 
the season to have these nice neutral colors, the fall season. Also, impending holiday season, you got your gold. And then I showed you the Labrador, that Labrador silver, y'all, I'm trying to tell you. There's just something about it. That Labrador silver, it just, it'll mess you up. Because it's just real, it's just, it, it glisten. Glisten like the snow. So you don't always have to do crystal. You can do this here silver, this Labrador. It'll mess you up. And you see them stones and you just be blinded for life. So get you some some Labrador. Get you some in here, this, this arm. Mix these two together. It'd be real nice. Think you'll like it. So I appreciate y'all for hanging out with us tonight. We got, what's that, nine more minutes to go? Seven more minutes to go. My clock on my computer is wrong. Explains why I be late sometimes. I have to pay that some more attention. So if you got any questions, go ahead and holler at me. Like I said, this here is from Excellent Dreams. His gorgeous designs. He has tons of them. They're oversized. So just be careful. Keep that in mind with your Cricut. You're going to have to use the oversized mat. Cut these here out. No, we got two more buy-ins coming up. So this one here is the end of September, 1st of October. So that's buy-in number nine. Buy-in number 10 is the end of October, 1st of November. We got uh, something real nice coming out. It's not a new color, but it's a new option for getting you your stone. And I think you're going to like that real good. And then we got buy-in number 11, which is going to be the end of November. That's that Black Friday. Y'all ain't ready for that Black Friday deal. We got us Black Friday deal coming down the pipes for you. We think you're going to like just nice. All right? So, if you ain't bought now, Black Friday, I think, is going to be the ticket that you're waiting on. It ain't going to be miraculous. It ain't going to be over the top, but it's going to be just nice. All right? So, I think y'all appreciate that Black Friday sale we're going to have going on. It's only going to be Friday. It's only going to be Monday. Don't ask me on Tuesday. This still the buy-in? Yeah, it's still the buy-in, but it ain't going to be that Black Friday or Cyber Monday deal. Okay? Winetta Wilson, will we have more buy-ins in 2023? We intend to. We're going to see what the good Lord got to say about that when we finish up at the end of the year. And we count and make sure that everything is what it needs to be. And if it is, then we'll do it again. What are the Christmas color? Uh, So, I don't know. You, you, a lot of... Uh, I mean, in most instances, I've seen blue and green. I had somebody email me and tell me that uh, this year, uh, Montana, that navy blue is supposed to be the hot color for the year this year. So Montana might be it. I don't know. Uh, Sheila Cushion Bear say light cyan and emerald. I mean, those are your generic, you know, basic colors that most folks turn to. But they say that they're Montana, that, 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 uh, Navy is going to be real, real fire this year. That's the trending color. So you might want to check out some Montana and grab hold of that. Wish I had a press the Montana heart because that Montana is real pretty. Don't make me go get some Montana. Do we have time for Montana? Nope, we ain't got time for Montana. That Montana is real pretty. It's like kind of how this amethyst is kind of dark. And it's a dark, but when you turn it to the light certain way that blue come through, it's real, real nice. Real nice. Montana is beautiful. The best uni says she done seen that Montana bust through. All right. So I appreciate y'all. I really do. It was fun. I always have fun with y'all, especially when we bling and we love to bling around here. But next week. We're going to get in a little bit of sublimation. So be prepared for some sublimation next week. Because we got some real nice stuff from Condé, Die Trends, Some of their new stuff. And uh, we're going to have some fun with that. Mr. McQuackens, can we see it please? Patrice is begging you, Mr. McQuackens. 
what is you wanting to see? You wanting to see that Montana? I shouldn't open my mouth. Like I said, I done had me a senior nap, so I'm feeling real good right about now. Well, actually, I did say my stomach was starting to hurt. I don't know why my tummy was hurt. <sighs> Something else to get on my darn nerves about my body. You know, my nerves more worse than other things. GG's Boutique, you have a good night, my dear. Let's go grab some Montana real quick. There's only one heart. There's one heart. And I do like it. And I like for y'all to see the color and how they present. These stones and these ice chips. These brown stones and these ice chips sound like rattlesnake. Love it. All right. Here's that Montana. We're going to go ahead and throw this Montana on there real quick. Set that right there. Pull this out. We're going to bling on this side this time. It is definitely pretty. Can you put the link for the sign language template? I can. I had to put it in the description when I sit back over there at that there computer. Because I did forget to put it. Well, I didn't forget. I ran out of time. Ran out of time. Because like I said, my time clock says one thing. On my computer right now, my clock says it's 1057. But according to Mr. McQuackens, it's, it's already 11. So all my clocks are not showing the right time. Look at that. That's pretty. All right, let me get this one. Because this one looks like it's in the wrong place at the right time. Put that in there. And now TJ Petaway says, I just received my first order and I'm in love with these stones and had to put on my shades. He was blinging so hard. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's a shame. Should be outlawed. We like being outlaws. We like being our rhinestone cowboys around here. I'm glad you enjoyed your stones. Pit away. We appreciate your support. All right. So this is going to be. Oh. I can't even find it. What did I do with that transfer tape? I might have to cut me a new piece. Oh, I laid, laid it over here. So this is going to be press number seven. Or number eight or something. You know what? I ain't even want to take that chance. I'm turning to a part of the tape we ain't used yet. Well, we used that first. So this will just be press number two for this piece. Uh-oh. I have one stone flip over. So let's grab our tweezers. I love this rhinestone swatch. I'm going to have to make be this for a shirt. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Especially this size. The size hearts on here actually does do a better representation of showing the different colors other than like these little swatches that I did before. They're kind of small. Like it'll, it'll work like this gold orange. And this is uh blue flame. It'll work, but it's just not the same. You know, you need you need a little bit more space to see your colors. So what I did, like this here, this is just some black fabric. That's all this is. Black piece of fabric. And you can press it on there. You can do the same thing with some white fabric. And uh, make you a swatch to hang on your wall so that you can see all your pretty colors. It works out real good to do it that way. All right, let's press this. We're going to press this down here. Good night, Marianne. If you're going to bed, you have you a good night, ma'am. All right. Woo, that's pretty. All right, so we're going to put this right here on this here fuchsia. 
We're going to take this over to Tilly. We're going to press this and we're going to end this. Good night, Viola. You have your good night, ma'am. All right. 350 degrees, 12 seconds. And then we're going to have us a Montana heart. It's going to be busting. All right, so let's pull this out. And this here's Montana. For all you Cowboys fans. Not that I'm a Cowboy fan, I'm just a Cowboy. Cowgirl, rather. As a cowgirl. But yes, ma'am. Here, this here's that Montana. It's gonna work real good for that uh Dallas Cowboys team. Let's bring this over here to the table under the light so that you can see it. And straighten it out. Cool it off. And this here is Montana. So you can see uh, up against that black, that navy. Look, 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 look at that. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Come look at this right here. Look at that right there. Tell me that ain't busted. You wear this in that Labrador down there at that dang Dallas Cowboys Stadium. They mob you trying to take that shirt off your back. But they want it. Yes, they will. And don't mess around and wear a pretty cowboy hat like what I got on tonight. They really get a hold to you. Look. We're going to go ahead and write that Montana right there beside that. So that you know. Mary Logan, I'm glad you bought it too, ma'am, because it's a real, real nice stone. That's that nice neighbor. So I appreciate y'all. Throw me a cowboy hat in the chat if you can find it. For those that put up with my crazy country accent this whole show. It was two hours. But that's all right. Because I was a country girl. I was raised country. So I ain't shame. All right. So let's go through these colors one more time before we end the show. And we're going to go ahead and get off of here so I can finish my video and finish my work. I don't watch this now. I don't want to go to work tomorrow because I want to bling. I ain't mad at you, girl. I ain't mad at you. I tell you play hooky, but I can't. I swear I can't come down there and pay your bills, ma'am. I can't. All right. So let's do this again. Who knows what this was? Do you know? You remember? This here's that smoke topaz. This here's that coffee. This here's that light topaz. This here's that champagne. That champagne is that's nice. Right there, that's nice. I love this shirt. L-O-V-E. Love that shirt. I'm gonna wear this with pride. So I love everybody. This here's Aurum Dorado. This here's Topaz. This and here's that crystal gold shadow. This and here's that gold orange AB. This here's that John Quill. This and here that citrine. Let me move it over a little bit. Template for the heart I made. This one's EGM, so I'm had to put it in chat. I mean, not in chat. I'm had to put it in the description because I, I made this here template. So I'm had to find it, upload it some kind of way. I put it in Facebook group. How about that? This here's that citrine. This here's that amethyst. This here's that cyan. So if you're trying to figure out your maroon or your burgundy, these here's your, your good options. This here's that light cyan. This here's that fuchsia. This here's that black diamond AB. This here's that black diamond. Bussin'. Look at that. Don't make no sense how that black diamond catches the light. And this here's that Montana. All right. Queen Z Central says no school tomorrow. I'm blinging. 
I'm looking at my templates now. I ain't mad at you. Facebook group name is The Baby's Booty. LaDonna Horton, we look forward to seeing you over there. So I appreciate y'all tonight. It was a lot of fun bringing out all these colors. Hopefully we'll get to bring some more colors another time, but it won't be next week. Next week, we're going to be waiting on that order to get filled and sent back to me. So we're going to do us some sublimation. All right. And if I can get everything worked out somewhere in the middle of the week, we might do a little bit of embroidery. But I got this, this here video plan to come out. All right. So you guys have a great night. Here we go, rustle up some doggies. Give me some grub. And chill out for the rest of the night. After I get my mind together to finish this here video. So I appreciated you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang with me and Mr. McQuacken and the rest of the Hoop Group family. All right. So we love you. And we hope you all. Have happy blinging. Have a good night. How would you define luxury? Your purchase of our rhinestones has put extravagance right at your fingertips. Here at the Baby's Booty, we are taking the standard of luxury and bringing it directly to you. Introducing the perfect companion to your Lux rhinestones, the Baby's Booty Ice Boxes. Our ice boxes are in the perfect sizes to complement your order. Each color in your purchase will be labeled and packaged in these elegant acrylic boxes, ready to display your luxury stones for everyone to see. The Baby's Booty Icebox, where our bling is the finer thing.